eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and fill their souls with splendor. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So for us to celebrate the sacred mysteries worthily, we first acknowledge our sins, be sorry for them, then we ask for the mercy of God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God Almighty Father, who have strengthened us by the mystery of the cross and promise us a share in the mystery of your Son's resurrection, grant mercifully we pray that your departed servant, Sister Juliet Catherine of Mary Immaculate, may be gathered into the company of her chosen ones through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Jedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azur from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years, I will restore to this place all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Zechoniah, son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah who went to Babylon, says the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and all the people assembled in the house of the Lord and said, Amen. Thus may the Lord do. May he fulfill the things you have prophesied by bringing the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles back from Babylon to this place. But now, listen to what I am about to state in your hearing and the hearing of all the people. From of old, the prophets who were before you and me prophesied war, woe, and pestilence against many lands and mighty kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies peace rec is recognized as truly sent by the Lord only when his prophetic prediction is fulfilled. Thereupon, the prophet Hananiah took the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it and said in the presence of all the people, Thus says the Lord, Even so within two years I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from off the neck of all the nations. At that, the prophet Jeremiah went away. Sometime after the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke 
from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Go tell Hananiah thus, thus says the Lord, by breaking a wooden yoke, you forge an iron yoke. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, a yoke of iron I will place on the necks of all these nations serving Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, even the beasts of the field I give him. To the prophet Hananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you have raised false confidence in this people. For this, says the Lord, I will dispatch you from the face of the earth. This very year you shall die, because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year, in the seventh month, Hananiah the prophet died. The word of the Lord. Lord, teach me your statutes. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Let those who turn to me fear you and acknowledge your decrees. Sinners, let, not, let my heart be perfect in your statutes, that I be not put to shame. Sinners wait to destroy me, but I pay heed to your decrees. From your ordinances I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Let us all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with yours. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When they disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it has already been laid. Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go us away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down the cross, taking the five loaves and the two fish. And looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, gave them to the disciples, in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up fragments left over, twelve bigger baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting children and women. So Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and proceed him to the other side of the sea, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. 
meanwhile the boat already a few miles offshore was being tossed about by the waves for the wind was against it during the fourth watch of the night he came toward them walking on the sea when the disciples saw him walking on the sea they were terrified it's a ghost they said and they cried out in fear at once Jesus spoke to them take courage it is I do not be afraid Peter said to him in reply Lord if it is you command me to come to you on the water he said come Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus but when he saw how strong the wind was he became frightened and beginning to sink he cried out Lord save me immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him oh you of little faith why did you doubt after they got into the boat the wind died down those who were in the boat did him homage saying truly you are the son of god after making the crossing they came to land at Genesar. when the men of that place recognized him they sent word to all the surrounding country people brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak and as many as touched it were healed healed the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus two things it's about disappointments in life a death of a loved one can be a great disappointment in life so in today's gospel reading as we have heard yesterday jesus looked for a time for seclusion space he need also space to grieve because of the death of his second cousin john the baptist remember john the baptist was the one who baptized him this person was very significant in his life john the baptist hindi ilang parinti kundi ang nagbunyag pa sa iya Amuning atawo. And I'm sure they were childhood friends. So he was so disappointed hearing the death of his second cousin. So he needs space, seclusion. Galilee is a very crowded place. It's simply 51 kilometers in, in territory, land area, but there are more than 200 towns. So, yung damo tao, urbanized place ni siya. So, how can you have your own place for seclusion, to be alone and to grieve, time to remember happy memories with somebody whom you love, na napatay, kung magahod ang palibot mo. You cannot have time for seclusion. That's why he crossed the lake about 8 kilometers for seclusion give space i remember a congresswoman who passed away i think last month the husband and the children said give us space to grieve we know we know my wife Selina, she was a good public servant we know that you want also to come and to con condole us but we need space Gai kami ganay sa privacy namo na. Gusto namo niya kami hanon ng ganay. So Jesus also, a human being, needs space for that. A seclusion. But people came to Him. No? They, they took the road, si Jesus, by boat, sila ay naglakat lang sila. And they brought with them their own sick loved ones. And then the rest, we know it yesterday. But the thing is this, there will always be great disappointments in life. Either the death of a loved one, or this experience of pandemic, a great disappointment. Ang iba nagapasingit, kaya hindi nakahampang. Ila habi hampang. Iba nagapasingit, kaya hindi nakamoling. O ila habi moling, lagaw lagaw at lagaw, nagapasingit. It's a great disappointment, this pandemic. O different, dipindi sa aton mismo, kung anong aton nga lifestyle, Ang pandemic mismo actually uh, made a stop. Made a stop. You cannot do your lifestyle ng um, regular habits. Subong. 
O sa nga no pagigi mo pala suot suong perfume, naglain ka pagig. Damo pagigagalain, o kay ginihimo ala suot suot na sa gabi, in early pagig. So, it's a great disappointment. There were always big disappointments in life. In today's gospel reading, we have heard that uh, the disciples took the boat and Jesus told them, Go, I will follow. And in the middle of that lake, there was this great storm. Another disappointment for them. Disappointment. And I remember St. Therese of Lisu. Because she has her own share of disappointments, I would like to quote her words. Experiencing this, her own time of great disappointment in life, she wrote, and I quote, My soul was like a fragile boat, delivered up to the mercy of the waves, and having no pilot, I knew Jesus was there sleeping in my boat, but the night was so black, it was impossible to see Him. When we are in great trouble, when we are in great sadness, when we are in great trials, darkness is so black that it seems we cannot see God and God is nowhere to be found. Do wala ang Diyos. Wala sang Diyos. When you have no more work this time, when you lose your job, do wala sang Diyos. When you cannot do what you usually do before this pandemic, do wala ang Diyos. When you are sick because of COVID, do wala ang Diyos. You know, I talked to a doctor. He took thrice ang swab test. Silingkutin, do kamusta? Three times na nagpag-swab test niya. Hindi magwantahan pa there. Hindi pa dam lang sa inyo ah. Ang swab test duwa na. Duwa, depende sa kit. Either nasal, nasal, o kung duwagin sa throat, ang sa ilong niya, Father, sa, sa ilong lang ah. Katatlo niya ang sakit, dugala sa bat, sa likod mo. Niya hindi uganta. Hindi na ko maliwat, Father. Lainain ka niya. Hina, swab test pa lang na. Ay han kung ma-COVID ka pagin. Inipandam lang. <laughs> Do wala ang Diyos na. Ina, nagpa-swap test lang sa to be sure na negative siya. Na wala sa malatnan. Pero grabe ang iyan is a fear. Oh, it is the thing. There will always be disappointments in life, even the saints. No? Saint Therese of Lisu, she has her, her own time of great great disappointment but actually my dear friends it did not stay long because Teresa of Lisu uh, put her faith on God and I continue she said in place of the wind of trial yes there will be a light breeze a gentle breeze the presence of the divine for sure expanded my sail and I believe I reached the blessed shore now seemingly so close, it was really very close to my boat, but more than one storm was still to arise. If you were able to overcome and transcend one problem, one trouble in life, expect storm, another storm will arise. So what is the good news? Kay may arang galing pero may problema. May arang galing may disappointments. Your dreams may crumble anytime. You have plans today. Maybe next week it will be it will be no more useless. Di, wala ang galit. Hindi na lang. Well, the point the point of St. Therese is this. Stay on your boat. Stay on your boat. Don't leave your boat. Just like Peter, he left the boat. 
and he asked Jesus, Stay. Jeremiah, in today's first reading, he stayed. He experienced disappointment because Hananiah, a false prophet, was trying to comfort the people. Everything would be okay. Don't worry. No, don't worry. But Jeremiah said, No. No. You will go through a great purification. You will go through great trials and difficulties. But it, the end would be hope and goodness. Goodness would come. But before goodness would come, you will go through a great difficulty. But I said, no. So there was this great conflict between two prophets. When Jeremiah was in that great trouble, in great disappointments, because people hated him, they simply listened to this comforting words, but they were actually false hopes from Hananiah. Jeremiah put his faith on God. He stayed. He put his faith on God. He strengthened his conscience. And lastly, he prayed for wisdom. That's the thing. We will always be tossed by great storms in life, our own life. This both of the disciples tossed by the great storms, storm on the lake, is actually a parable of our own life. This is a story of your life. This is a story of my life. Disappointments would come one after another. Sometimes they would pile up. Wala pa matapos, arak naman isa betangkas-tangkas. Storms will arise again and again. Don't leave your boat. Stay. Though it's so dark that you cannot see Jesus sleeping in your boat, stay. Put your faith in God. Strengthen your conscience. And thirdly, pray for wisdom. As Saint Therese experienced, a gentle breeze expanded her sail, and she believed that she would reach the blessed shore safely, but still she would expect another storm would arise. For sailors, their experience, one thing is this, when all good advice fails, among like guys, among like guys, do wala man, hindi pa epektib, hindi wala man epekto, hindi effective. When all human advice fails, when you rather Ah, ang imo mismo dreams in life don't work anymore. Doesn't bring you to your own desire in life. Useless na, wala na pulos. It seems that you're going nowhere so long. Wala ka balo. No? When your rather is useless, and when all your human strength and resources have been abandoned. Wala nagin, ubus ubus nagin. You know, the sailors, they have one great recourse. They would cry to the Lord. So beautiful. When you have exhausted everything and it seems tanan useless and helpless, sailors, they have one great recourse. They would cry. To the Lord, call on God, hold on to God, and God answers their prayers. If God would answer the prayers of these great sailors in the great storms, the ocean, how much more the church, as Saint Augustine would say, the boat is the church. The boat for Saint Therese is an individual experience. Either as a community, a nation, humanity, or as just one person, God would answer our call, our cry for help. And He will surely lead us to peace and tranquility.
Gathered like the crowd in the gospel and hungry for the word of God, we turn now with confidence to our Heavenly Father, who never fails His people in their need. As we say, You are our bread, O Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That the church throughout the world may bear witness in word and deed to God's love and concern for the hungry and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That world leaders and all who hold possessions of great power may help distribute the world's resources in such a way that no country may be in danger of famine. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That as a community, we may be men and women of prayer and that we may be prepared to give of our time and talents to help those searching for the meaning of life. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That the sick and the suffering may experience the sustaining love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That the faithful departed may enjoy forever the eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread. In silence, let's also raise our, the petitions of people who we promise to pray for to God. Heavenly Father, be mindful of us who are in need of your mercy. Fill our hearts with your love and never allow us to be separated from you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for thorough goodness. We have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His people. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice may benefit your departed servant, Sister Juliet Catherine of Mary Immaculate, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through Him the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoice in Your presence forever. May our voice, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Patricia our Bishop, and all the clergy. Also remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Sebastian, Saint Padre Pio, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation. But but deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yours. So offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy to enter under my roof. Only say the word, say my soul shall be healed. Grant everlasting rest to them whose memory the body and blood of Christ are here received.
Let us pray. May the sacrifice of your church, we pray, O Lord, benefit the soul of your servant, Sister Juliet Catherine of Mary Immaculate, so that she who received the sacrament of Christ's mercy may enter his company together with your saints through Christ our Lord. We pray the Raja Karata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Very help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumso. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And God bless you and your family, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Master and that we all go in the peace of Christ.